Guys, in this video, we've got the new Element Enduro Ecto. Now, the Ecto has been out a little while, but this one is the new Scratch and Sniff edition. It's not actually the Scratch and Sniff, it's the Scratch and Weather, but Scratch and Sniff sounds way better. There we go. It's the Ecto Black Trail Truck Scratch and Sniff edition. So I'm getting to the point where you could possibly call me an Element fanboy, I reckon. I've had a few. I've also used the builder's kits for two builds, I think. One of them being a banana for Matt's off-road recovery. And I've also used the Stealth X gearbox in my comp rig, which is what the elements come with. So call me a fanboy, I don't care. Instructions, stickers. Ooh. As always with element or associated, you get a nice box that you can take apart and make into a little scene. There's a little horse at the end there. Doesn't smell. I just got a little sneak peek at this. It looks very nice. It's going to be a shame to get all this scratched, isn't it? But that is what we're doing today. We're getting this thing scratched up as much as possible to see, well, what it looks like. Also going to give it a review, but, but the main purpose of this video is I want to get this thing properly scratched up to see if the effect actually works. Oh, it does look nice. I like a good bit of satin black or murdered out. A few people mocked me saying murdered out for my FMS, but it's quite a common saying. So as with all the RTRs from um, Element, you get the XP130 transmitter. It's got all the functions you need on there from your throttle trim, steering trim to your dual rate. You also get a load of stuff in here, the extra gears in here to increase your overdrive. Overdrive is when the front wheels spin faster than the rear. I think they are like 6% out of the box and that puts it up to 11. You also get a longer battery tray because this will have a shorty battery tray, body mounts, and other bits and pieces in there. Uh, instructions for your transmitter. Already shown you, you get instructions and stickers. And then the truck. The normal one's yellow. This is the new, um, this is the new color that, like I said, you scratch it and it goes like an orangey color underneath. And it is very nice looking. Alloy bodied oil shocks there feel really nice. Trailing arms at the back with a sway bar. That's what I like about these. They've got the trailing arms set up at the rear. We'll have a closer look at that in a minute. Clear windows, but no interior in there. Little fake winch at the front. Nice little comp style bumper there. The body's trimmed as well. Again, like a like a comp crawler there. Giving you some nice clearance when it's flexing and obviously when you're over rocks and stuff, it's gonna give you a bit of clearance. They always feel nice out of the box. Just in case you're wondering, it doesn't really smell. And that is what color is underneath. So it's obviously sprayed like this oxide red color underneath. And then it's got that satin black that's sprayed over the top. So when you catch it on rocks and sharp stuff, they take little bits of that paint off and then it's going to end up showing through with that red oxide color, giving it a nice weathered look, hopefully, or it might just look a mess. Underneath, we've got that infamous Stealth X gearbox. Very good transmission. Lots of people use this in their comp rigs. Lots of people recommend the Stealth X. It runs really quiet, it runs really smooth, and like I mentioned, it's got adjustable overdrive. You've got a five slot, 550 reedy motor there. Nice brushed motors on these as well. Then the ESC will take 2S and 3S. 7.4 volt BEC on them. In my opinion, the best ready to runs you can get really. Nice and smooth, straight out the box. Not like a high end smooth, but for an RTR, really, really good. 15 kilo metal gear servo. Small shorty battery tray. But like I said, there's a longer one in there if you want to put full size batteries in. Already showing you the adjustable oil shocks. There's your rear trailing arms with your sway bar. It just looks really nice. Can't remember what that's called. Gatekeeper, I think. You can get a truck called the Gatekeeper, but I'm sure that's called, I'm sure that's called Gatekeeper. Three links with a panard bar at the front. Your steering link is behind. That gives you a little bit more clearance at the front. On a lot of crawlers, it'll sit across the front there and it can just get hung up on stuff. So Element always put it behind, which gives you that extra bit of clearance there. There's your steering link and then panard bar behind it. Bearings all round and you've got UJs at the front. UJs tend to be a little bit tougher. These are beadlock wheels. You just have to undo the middle there and they come away. You've got little center caps as well. They usually just twist off. There you go. General grabber tires. Feel a nice soft compound. Telescopic plastic drive shafts. And just overall, a very nice crawler. So tomorrow I am off to East, 
East Anglian Scale Trail. It's at a quarry. There's rocks and mud and dirt and sharp stuff everywhere. What a perfect opportunity, not only to run this to see how it performs, but also give this body a good workout, which possibly I could do with as well. <laughs> All right then, let's, let's get this thing scratched up. I love how smooth this Stealth X gearbox is. So smooth, nice low down control, standard from Element. Very slippery surface today. It's been dry for ages and we're at a quarry. <laughs> Just running this 2S, it will run free. So you may need, we may need some wheel speed later on. If you're gonna do it. Nice. Gotta get a good line here now. Then we'll have the traction on these stock tyres. Come on. Whoa, there you go. First scratches. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go the easy way. Not gonna do that bit. So far, it's had a couple of tumbles and I can't see any, any orange coming through or red. We need to try harder. Oh, that was a mistake, wasn't it? I just love how these things drive. We need to go and find some rocks rather than this mud, but they just drive so well. I'm gonna do the class two comp later with it, see how it gets on. That will be in a different video. Up against my comp rig, so much mud around here. <laughs> Come on. Problem is, because of the design of it and because of the, you know, that sort of comp design, it's actually hard to scratch the body because the wheels get in the way. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that looks a good culprit there. There we go. Come on. Found it, perfect. This is just so wrong. <laughs> it's making me cringe. Oh, little bit coming through there. Yeah, this is quite tough paint on the outside. if we'll get through there. Come on. Come on. He's gonna do it, gonna do it. Needs three S really. He's gonna do it though. Slow and steady. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> It's too good this year. Come on, scratch, scratch, scratch. Oh, it's gonna, is it gonna get out there? How did it do that? How did it do that? What an absolute blast I had with this thing. Now, before we look at how the paints turned out, I'll probably need to clean some of the mud off. I am really impressed with this, like I am with all the other elements, like I already said, straight out of the box, ready to run, Probably one of the best you can get. Good low down control, super smooth and quiet transmission. You've got that overdrive stock out the box. Tires did struggle a bit, but we were at a quarry and as you saw, it's pretty dry. So a very nice platform. If you're not into the Ecto or the trailing arm setup, you won't be disappointed with any of the element stuff. Now, before we look at the body, what I'm gonna do is just give it a quick clean off so we can actually see um, how much paint's come off. And the answer is not a lot. We've got a little bit off the front there. Tiny bit just on the door. Little bits down there. Some across the top. Little bit across the side there. And then I think 
That's about it. A little bit on the rear. So overall, not a lot. I tried my hardest to get this thing scratched up as best as I could. The paint is pretty robust. So the idea of this isn't really to take it and naturally weather it like that. What this is really designed for is getting like some sandpaper or some scotch bright and weathering it yourself. So as you can see, a little bit of rubbing with that and then you're starting to get a bit of patina coming through. And then obviously you can just go round it and well, just make it your own really. If you were to run this long term though, I am sure this body would start to look really good with that natural weathering on it. But then you've also got the option if you don't want to wait, you can go round and well, you can do it yourself. So, a little bit of extra weathering on there. I didn't go too crazy, but I think it looks really good. I've also tinted the windows. I'm a fan of clear windows, but I'm also a fan of interiors. And this hasn't got an interior, so I've tinted the windows. They're not completely tinted. It looks so good, doesn't it? So that is the Element Ecto Scratch and Sniff, or Scratch and Weather, whichever you prefer. And if you want a chance of winning this actual truck, I'll leave links in the description. You'll get this as it comes in its box with all the bits and pieces and the stickers and the transmitter, no battery included, but it will be this actual truck and I'll throw some merch in as well. Links in the description. Cheers for watching.